you a really kind of unusual tutorial how to lighten your eyebrows. Now you may be thinking, why would I need to lighten my eyebrows? I'm going to show you what you need, how to do it, why in the world you would ever want to do this, and I'm going to give you some guidelines for colors of eyebrows that go with colors of hair. If you haven't noticed, my hair is not naturally this blonde color, so I would be definitely a person that needs to lighten their eyebrows. So anybody that's colored their hair and their hair is lighter than their actual natural color, or you just want to lighten your eyebrows for a softer look, because lightening your eyebrows definitely gives you a softer look to your face. This was dear old candy. Uh, I had lightened my hair, but as you can see, my eyebrows are still really dark, and that looks really weird. I have already lightened mine once, but you're probably going to need to do this about once every six weeks, depending on how fast you notice your eyebrows are getting darker. The next thing that you're going to need is you're going to need cream hair bleach. Um, this is my favorite. It's Sally Hansen cream bleach, and the box even says number one selling bleach brand in the US. Make sure that you do not confuse this with the cream hair remover because if you remove your eyebrows, that would be really horrible. This is for your face, so it's safe to use on your face. You can have an eyebrow lightening party with your friends, or maybe that's weird. A couple guidelines for hair lightening and your hair color. If your hair is medium to black, your eyebrows can be one to two shades lighter than your natural hair color and it will still look beautiful. If your hair is platinum to say a medium brown, your eyebrows can be one to two shades darker than the actual hair color. First you get your bleach, your activator, your little mixing tray, and your spatula. We're going to put out a little pile about the size of a dime. We're going to take our bleach and you're going to take about half the amount that you used on your tray and you're going to start mixing this together. They used to give you little cups and I think I like the cup better than this tray thing. And then just mix it around and it should be kind of the consistency of like whipped butter. Oh, great. Now comes the fun part. You're just going to take your spatula and you're just going to cover the whole area. You're going to go all over the eyebrow entirely and even onto the sides so that you know you're thoroughly coating anything. You don't want to have leopard print or patchwork eyebrows. I'm going to look like a Oompa Loompa with their white eyebrows in just a minute. I will comb them the opposite way and get all the eyebrows going that direction and then I will go this way and make sure I cover them. It's kind of like icing a cake. You feel like you're icing your eyebrows. Scrape off any kind of gloppy areas that look like they may drip off. And then you want your eyebrows to be totally coated with the lightening mixture. I'm just going to leave it on here for about two minutes and I will check and then you can check every minute after that. Just take your brush and you're just kind of going to brush some of the hair to make a spot where you can see what color they're looking. And when you see they've reached the desired lightness that you want, so we're going to start our timer and I will come back in two minutes. And you may notice it tingling or kind of feeling like, ah, I'm ready to take this off. So I'm just going to give a little wipe test and yes, they are the lighter shade that I want. This side is really kind of stinging, so I'm going to wipe him off first. It's okay because this was designed for your face. This is much lighter than my natural eyebrows that are almost really black. If it's not light enough, go ahead and apply another coat and just put it on for one to two minutes at a time and keep checking until you reach the desired lightness for your eyebrows. Okay, so now we're gonna wash it off. You can take a cream uh, face wash and you're just going to rub over the areas of your eyebrows. You could also do this before you get in the shower and then you can just wash your face off in the shower. I just want to be careful not to get any of this into my eyes. It feels really good if you use cool water. Then you're just going to apply your regular face moisturizer right over that area. So that is how you lighten your eyebrows. It's going to give your face a softer, more gentle look, and especially if you have lightened your hair, it's going to make your eyebrows look like they actually belong with this maybe pseudo, maybe could be your natural hair color color. <laughs> we'll show you what we look like when my makeup and my eyebrows are all done. And this is how it looks once I've lightened my eyebrows and I've also filled them in with a lighter eyebrow color. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on filling in and shaping, because I totally need to do an updated one. So if you guys want to see a new one of those, um, also you can go and be my friend on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then you can see what little, little treats and pictures and fun stuff I show you guys every day on my blog. I write that myself every day. I'm typing it in the morning. So you can go to candyj.com and go check that out too. But Huge hugs from my house to yours, and always remember, you're more beautiful than you know, you're more talented than you think, and you're more loved than you can imagine, even if it's just from me. Bye!